amazing is happening right now in our solar system. A giant space rock from another star system is flying by and it is moving at a breakneck speed. We're talking 200,000 miles per hour, but is it a rock or could it be something else? We're going to be joined now by Michelle Nichols from the Atler Planetarium. Thanks so much and uh, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for having me. So, Michelle, what exactly do we know about what we are now calling this large rock that's in our solar system? So it is named 3I Atlas. It is uh, the third interstellar object to uh, to have been discovered. And it is zooming through our solar system right now. And um, it's it, the Atlas name comes from the telescope that discovered it. And it is moving at a trajectory that strongly suggests that it is not originally from our own solar system. Um, it's moving too quickly uh, to have come from the outer reaches. It's from someplace else. And so it is super exciting that we have a literal interstellar uh, comet, uh, interstellar visitor um, in our midst, and it's flying past Mars as we speak. And Michelle, you said it's flying past Mars at almost 200,000 miles per hour. Where exactly is this thing headed? Out. <laughs> so <laughs> it's basically taking almost a straight line path. It, it kind of appears like imagine, imagine the the planets are all in their in their oval orbits around around the sun. This thing is going pretty much almost at a straight line, um, straight through the solar system. So it has been coming toward us and um, it will be going away from us. So it's going to travel through our part of the solar system and head right back out. And Michelle, some scientists, uh, including uh, Professor Avi Loaf, who we've spoken to on this show from Harvard University, think that this could be a spaceship. What is leading some scientists to make that potential prediction there? Um, I think it would be better to answer that as what would lead scientists to think that it would be more like a comet than okay. a spaceship, because it's... Yes, it's from someplace else. Yes, it's been it's it's going very fast. It is one conclusion that could be made um, about about its origin. However, everything we've seen so far strongly suggests it's a comet. If it's an alien spacecraft, it's doing its best comet impression right now. Um, so it's it's got uh, uh, some some material that is around it, just like what's happened to comets. It has a small tail. Exactly what happens to comets. Um, and so with the data that from the spacecraft that are studying it today and over the next few months um, are going to tell us even more about this object and hopefully put to rest what exactly this object is. But so far, the data strongly suggests that it's a comet. All right. We'll be keeping our eye on this uh, potential comet. We're not exactly sure what it is just yet. Uh, is there any chance we could actually see this with our own eyes here on Earth? No, um, it will be far too dim to do that. For one thing right now, um, even if you were on Mars and it's passing about 20 million miles from Mars today, it still would be almost impossible to see it with your own eyes. It's, it's just that dim. Right now, it's also on the other side of the sun from Earth. So the sun's in the way. So we can't even see it right now. Just the Mars spacecraft can see it right now. It won't become visible to uh, Earth um folks and telescopes and spacecraft until about late November. And by that point, it's it's going to be pretty dim. So it's not something we'll be able to see with just our eyes. All right, Michelle, we only got about 30 seconds left or so. Is there any chance that this thing could hit Earth? None whatsoever. It will not come any closer than um, a little bit more than about 150 miles, a million miles from from uh, from Earth. So no chance. Definitely like 150 million <laughs> rather than 150 uh, for sure. Uh, Michelle Nichols from the Atler Planetarium, thanks so much for your time on uh, what we are potentially predicting, a comet that is moving at 200,000 miles per hour out there in the galaxy. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for having me.